feel like I should film at night because yesterday I filmed at night and I had the um, reflection of the camera screen <laughs> in the window which did help me so I'm going to check every once in a while if we are still recording like now I'm going to check okay and they may have seen a bit I need water. <laughs> a bit silly and pointless for me to do that. However, generally, um, not generally, it's whenever it feels like it. A bit like a Dementor or if you suffer from depression or anxiety, anything like that. It's sporadic, isn't it? It's just whenever it pleases. You're not like, sorry, I can't go to work on Wednesday. I'm definitely going to feel low that day. Unless, like, for example, if your depression is linked to having lost someone and you lost someone on that day. Yeah. However, um, it's not, it doesn't come on a schedule, <laughs> so it's very sporadic and it's annoying. So that's what this camera is like with movie recent sort of recording stopped automatically. Interesting that movie recording stopped automatically is now apparently linked to themes of depression and anxiety and the mentors, the mentors which represent depression. So if we all get to go still. We are. So today I bring to you a voucher haul, which is now a thing because, well, it's a thing that I'm doing. Um, back to the point. I bring to you a voucher haul. What I mean by that is I had vouchers to spend that were given to me by my mummy, my mother, and um, she got them from work. Um, they had like a yearly thing, and they. Um, the, the jobs she's been at have done that, <laughs> I think all of them, so um, it used to be, I think you get a lot, I don't know, it's changed it over the years wherever she's been, so you either get a love to shop voucher, which is good because you can spend it in many stores, or what they've done more recently is they give you a voucher, which is basically a voucher for a voucher, and it'll be worth £25, and you can pick different amounts of vouchers, so I have a Wilco gift card, um, which I'm still going through. It's good. I think there was £10 on that and I think there's like £3 or probably less than that left on it now. I most recently used it to buy lavatory rolls. Yay! <laughs> I mean, good expenditure. And um, I also got a WH Smith voucher and a Sainsbury's voucher from uh, my mother. Another voucher I do have, which um, is not from my mother, just side note because that all might be coming at some point, is a £5 Morrison's voucher, and I got that from complaining about one of my biscuits in the packet being like, it was meant to be a chocolate digestive, and it was like a half chocolate digestive, it was like, really? And I tweeted about it, and they were like, we're really sorry about this, please send us DM, and I did, I contacted them, and they were like, we're well, going to send you a voucher in the post, I'm like, oh cool, thank you. Actually, did they say they were going to send me a voucher? They said they were going to send me something in the post, and I was like, Oh my gosh, it's a five pound voucher, whoa. And the same happened to me with Tesco, and I was like, am I just having bad luck with like <laughs> chocolate digesters? It was Tesco first and Morrison's. And Tesco sent me a money card, which I need to find, because I think it's got 20p left on it, either that or I've used it up and it has nothing left on it. Um, and um, I, yeah, they sent me a money card of three pounds as, as compensation for being upset when you're meant to be having a chocolate digestive but it's complete this one had no chocolate on it at all and I was like where's my chocolate <laughs> let's go so I've got stuff that's meant to be in the freezer so at some point at two points I will leave the room to go put them in the freezer so first of all by the way I'm not necessarily going to keep all this stuff because number one uh, first thing from this haul is this. Um, so I need to do my theory test at some point and then to drive and stuff. I just keep it in time. So you need to know your traffic signs and that's apparently a book that you need and I just thought surely you can look it up online you don't need to so it's not something that I thought it would be used. However um, I had a £10 voucher from WH Smith and I need to make up the £3 from what you will see in a bit. And I thought about this after buying it. Hold on, have I already got this? Because there was something that I bought at Waterstones, which I got a discount on because um, it was it was a damaged copy. There were only damaged copies available. Some had the ends weird, some were printed like off, so it was like 
basically you'd be able to flick through the book and it would just slowly, there'd be less and less of it, you can tell like, there's been a printing error on it. Um, I can't remember which damaged copy I took, um, but I was like, hi, if I get this one, was that how it was? No, I said, do you have any um, copy, any other copies because they're all damaged? And the guy said, no, however, we can offer you a discount um, if, because they're damaged. And that's generally how it goes in any store, by the way. Um, so I had um, a time when I went to Tesco. <laughs> Tesco's been coming up twice for issues. Um, and one of their cornflakes boxes was damaged. I was like, oh, maybe I'll take this to the tail and be like, can, I, can you offer me a discount and see if it's worth it and yeah however they did increase their prices to 39 pence meaning that when they gave me a discount it was offered like 26 29 pence and uh cornflakes boxes had been 25 pence and i thought i don't want to be paying more than i've been paying for a cornflakes box that is damaged so i said no to the discount hope that made sense if not let me know in the comments just be like mel you didn't make any sense please explain and i will explain um so yeah, it goes with any store. And I, I've looked at the books that I have here with me, and one of the books, thankfully, had a receipt in it, and none of, no discounts have been applied on any other things. So I need to go home and check if I've already got this, because actually one of the books I got, we've already got at home, and my mother's like, oh, isn't that my book? And I was like, no, I've just bought this, I just told you. She's like, oh, but you said once, you asked if, I could, if you could borrow it, and I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> and the house is well it is what it is so um i wasn't able to find it and try and get a refund on that one to go i've already got it i don't need it so i may have to get a refund on this as well if i've already got it there's no point in me having two copies um and yeah so that's it on that don't need to say anything else or maybe give it to someone who Ooh, don't put it near the bag of the frozen stuff who needs it or who wants it Right, the next thing I got, ah, oh, damn it, don't get dirty already. I will have no water in my hands, please, at the moment. Wonders of the Solar System by Professor Brian Cox and Andrew Cohen. Um, I had to get this. Um, I haven't uploaded any or many of my vlogs yet. However, I did spend an entire three years of my life studying astronomy at university and it was the best course ever and I absolutely loved it. There was only one module out of the 19 modules studying, the two years of six modules, I think, and the second year had seven modules in. So yeah, that's 19 modules and out of those 19 modules there was only one that I didn't like and that's because uh, it was called History of Astronomy 2 because um, we've done History of Astronomy 1 in the first year. So uh, we ended up needing to cover war because scientists were used um, to help war things. That's a whole controversy on its own. <laughs> so we're not going to go into that. Basically the thing with me is I don't like war and I don't understand war. So anything war related psh, goes over my head which meant I found it hard to engage because I my brain just doesn't understand war, so anything war related in my brain, um, I guess, can't stay engaged because it's like, I don't understand this. So sometimes I would zone out in lectures, not on purpose, and, and I'd be like, right, try and... <laughs> but yeah, I, I managed to pass that module. I think I more than passed. So I'm sure I got a true one in that. I might be wrong. Um, so yeah, that was my issue with that module. But otherwise I loved it, and this is about solar system universe and I haven't even flipped through it yet. I need to like sit down over Christmas and read this but as you can see it was only seven pounds and I'm a bit wary of places that say only seven pounds so if you're in Gucci and they're like we've reduced it from a thousand pounds to 900 pounds ooh like yeah it's still 900 pounds though which barely anyone has um I generally think any book under 10 pounds is a good bargain any book under five pounds is a very good bargain so I do consider this cheap for a book it was 50 pounds look at that 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 look at that, look at that. it was 50 pounds down from 50 pounds this is a heavy book it's hardback it's got this cover on it uh the pages are yeah, the rich people pages. Um, <laughs> so, 
so this is definitely worth £50 and I got it for £7 so bargain, brilliant, I spent my voucher well so that's it for the WH Smith um, voucher haul only had £10 on the voucher, only I could have got, um, there are loads of books in the clearance section but I wanted, I wanted Brian Cox's book and I thought that was good for me if I need to drive so I've, but I've got things I can exchange uh, that book for if it turns out I do have it because if that's not the book that I got that was discounted and what was it <laughs> so I'm gonna go home and check I'm gonna speed through this I really want to get stuff in the freezer I'm gonna keep this till last I have a story about this <clears throat> cornflakes one pound um, it's a ridiculous price um, <laughs> this is exactly the same way I can tell already that I'm looking so I can be accurate with you as yeah 500 grams exactly the same way as the Tesco ones that I used to purchase for 25 pence which are now 39 pence but it's one pound for their value range it's ridiculous thankfully I had a voucher otherwise it's like I might as well go into Tesco and buy these um but no because they've increased their price by 60% and that's ridiculous I'm gonna do the frozen stuff first get that out of the way um, so I can put it in the freezer. I bought more chips. I saw chips for one pound at first. I was like, yeah, that'll do. And I was like, oh, 25p, I'll get that instead. I can use my voucher better. And it's exactly the same weight as the others that are that were a pound. Um, apparently, <laughs> at least that's what they say. So this said 900 grams on the label. Yeah, 900 grams. Good. They weren't lying to me or misplacing the label. Um, and the other was 900, pound, 900 grams as well. I can't believe this is meant to be 900 grams. Really? Look at that. Everything you can see is all there is. There's nothing here. Is this really 900 grams? It's totally ridiculous. Again, this is cheaper in Lidl. It's just having a voucher and wanting to use it. It doesn't expire till next year, so that wasn't it. It's I'm already way over budget. Because um, <clears throat> I went to the cinema and I paid £10 on 3D. Because... Hold on. Okay, this one's fine. This one that I'm going to need to get into a face. So I'll get into a story in a bit. Um, looking for weight on this. Never mind. Four burgers. Uh, these were a pound as well. Um, yeah, food. <laughs> and I'll be back. I'm glad I did that because uh, the camera went out of memory as I did that. So that's good. I also purchased bicarbonate of soda um, because I think I may need it for my lip balms. I believe so. Lip balms? Not lip. You don't put bicarbonate of soda on lip balms unless for some reason you want them to rise. Dango and I there! <laughs> an idea. Freely lip balms. How do you... Well, lip balms are already freely, but like... Is this only what is... I mean... Watch this space. <laughs> um, you know, you put them in uh, bath bombs, but I've looked properly at my pricing strategy um, and at the cost of ingredients and if I was to sell bath bombs at the moment, I'm not lush, I haven't achieved economies of scale, I'm just me running Glamets, uh, I'll put a website to that down below, it's my brand for um, organic bath and beauty products. <clears throat> I would need to sell them for £10 each to properly be able to get my money back and I need to sell more than one. The citric acid for 500 grams is £7.59. <clears throat> that would get you two bath bombs, however, that's not the only ingredient. You also need Epsom salts, that also costs money, and you need half of what you need in um, citric acid of that. Um, so that's going to be more than £7.59. It'll already be more than a tenner, especially with this, which was 85p by the way. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so we see these were 55 pence. Then I bought bread because I need it. That was 45p. Everything here is more expensive than I can find it. I can find these at Lidl for 36 pence. Is there a bit more in here though? Maybe. I haven't checked 
uh, the weight of a little one, but this is 800 grams of wholemeal bread. Um, by the way, the white bread at Lidl, I believe, is still 45 pounds, which it also is at Sainsbury's, if price matches Sainsbury's, uh, but at Lidl, um, wholemeal bread is cheaper. And Tesco's gone up in about 50 p, I believe. Um, but yeah, it's can be found, like it's equivalent, it's equivalent can be found at Tesco for 44 pence. Um, I bet this is cheaper too, this 39p at Tesco. It's literally just because I, I had a voucher to spend there and I'm over budget as it is. I need to stop spending money but I also have things that I need. And the last thing from the haul, if we're still recording. Last thing from the haul is still table water. I've never heard water described that way as still table water. Still spring water. So I, I can deal with it if it's on the spring. Or a mountain. Just don't sell me tap water because that's free anyway. Just doesn't taste as great in Britain. Um, yeah, that's it. So yeah, I'm massively over budget as it is. I went to see her in that beast twice. I meant to have the first showing in 40. However, it's £10.70 and I don't have £10.70. And that's for a student ticket. An adult ticket is over £11. So it's totally ridiculous. Um, it's too expensive for me. So, I mean, these are London prices, which is why I don't go to the cinema in London. Really? I don't... Yeah, they do. Um, but yeah, I paid £10 for that. Because Millie and I went to watch it. And the guy tells us the price. And I'm like, can we pay separately, please? And Millie goes, can we pay separately, please? Then I say again, can we pay se separately, please? The guy says blankly at us, like we're talking Japanese to him. So in the end, um, we just work it out that like she can have a pound. And then I took her change, so it was 40 p change, so she owes me what I like paid extra. So her ticket was five sixty meaning I mean I gave a ten pound note so I paid my five but I also ended up paying her five. And she owes me a fiver, basically, but she hasn't paid me back yet. Um so technically I've still spent that even though I've spent five pounds but because I've handed over a tenner I have still spent a tenner, which is why I can't it would be slightly less. But the point is even if like, even if I hadn't given over the old tenner, I'd still be over budget, but I'm just trying to be exact, I don't think I've actually spent a tenner exactly on cinema. I have spent it, because I haven't got the money back yet, so it's still an outgoing, um, but otherwise it would be a fiver. Uh, spending ten pounds cinema just sounds like, ouch. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so that's gone out, and that was an extra bit of, yeah. So, <laughs> um, looking at my budget, I think I calculated I was about £12.57 over budget after spending that £10, and the £4.50 that I spent the following day on the 2D showing, uh, watching it with another mate, um, and I bought water yesterday. I always need water, so I got water again. Roger this time. And the last thing from the haul is the thing that saved me, ironically. Um, now, when you uh, purchase with a voucher, some stores don't like to give you change, and Sainsbury's is one of them. So I got a bag, because voucher, <laughs> and that cost me five pence. Thankfully, it seems like a good, strong bag. I hate when they make you pay five pence for a bag. Show off, fly. Um, don't even try and come in. In fact, Spelly Armas. Um, <laughs> Spelly Armas is for some someone, but I'm using that as in like go away and shove off. <laughs> so if you use a voucher at Sainsbury's and some other stores, you don't get change because they're really like that. They can give you change because it's basically like cash, you know, you're still spending, you've paid for that voucher or a company has paid for that voucher, it's been cash at some point, they can give you change. But it'll this camera is an absolute nightmare. Photos <laughs> <laughs> right, is the last thing I got, okay? That's all I wanted to say. Movie recording did not have to stop automatically. That's all I was saying. <laughs> It's 4 75 that I had, I need to have a total of £5 to spend my £5 voucher, and 
This was the only thing on 25B. This gentleman in the store showing me when it's faded. However, I'm definitely returning this because it's Freddo popping candy. It doesn't sound good. The other thing I said uh, was um, if anyone feels like doing a so and so tries Freddo popping candy YouTube video, feel free to do it. However, I won't do it because I'm poor, which is why I spent this voucher instead of spent money on things that were cheaper. So, yeah. I mean, I didn't pay for this voucher, so... Yeah. Um, but otherwise, it's like, money-wise, I would not have bought any of the stuff at Sainsbury's. Um, I would never have bought cornflakes. I haven't bought cornflakes in September because they're too expensive. They're, um, they've gone up by 60% at Tesco. Um, I can get these biscuits for 44 pence from... Tesco, or I can get uh, 400 grams of the 300 for 59 pence from Lidl, so it's a better value thing. 36 pence at Lidl, 17 pence at Lidl and Tesco. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Freddo's used to be 10p, man. Some people tell me they used to be 5p. Maybe I wasn't around then. I don't know. I didn't see them ever be 5p, 10p. Um, but Ironically, even though it annoys me that like they're 25p now, this saved my budget. If they were 10p, I would have only been able to see what I did with the Haribo's, just collect them and go, I need 5p more worth of stuff, and St. Bruce isn't going to have anything for 5p. So, yeah. End of video. That's all I had to say. So, thank you for watching my voucher haul, and uh, feel free to like. If you like the video, you can click the like button, click dislike if you disliked it. Uh, feel free to comment below as well, especially if you click the dislike button, can you please tell me why you clicked it? Because sometimes it's just like, okay, I've got one dislike on here, but why? Or you can just assume, oh, I guess they didn't like it, but sometimes people somehow have other reasons for clicking the dislike button, and I just want to know sometimes as a curious human being. So please let me know um, what you thought in the comments below, or um, let me know what you've bought with your vouchers sometimes. Uh, any vouchers you're hoping to give people for Christmas or what you'd like to receive for Christmas and why just just get discussion going in the comments be nice to each other no swearing because that's kind of like a negative thing to do and we need more positivity in this day and age so yeah that's everything we got see the breeze voucher just to reiterate five pounds a WH Smith voucher was ten pounds and uh, I haven't seen any voucher hauls before, but I haven't looked for any. So feel free to let me know below if you know a very good voucher haul. Or if you're thinking of doing one, let me know and I get to subscribe to your channel and look out for that. And um, let me know if you've already done one as well. Now I'll check it out. Um, so yeah, follow me on Twitter. It's at Pinkatroid. And you can let me know there of any voucher <laughs> hauls. Um, or you can follow me on Instagram as well. I'll put the name below, but it's um, Riviere underscore chanson underscore official. Um, so Riviere underscore chanson underscore is French for river underscore song underscore. <laughs> and it's official. Um, so yeah, follow me on that and it'll all be good. Okay, okay. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Bye. <laughs> also, sunny day in Wales. I hope you're having a good day. <laughs>